Okay, so I'm getting there with the shear clamp. I'll be honest, this is a complicated timber. This has had me scratching my head quite a bit. All the various things that are going on with this, with it twisting and bending in various different directions and also changing dimensions throughout the boat as we looked at in the previous video. I've now got four timber sections laminated up in this and it's actually forming its shape really nicely. It's a nice fair curve, which I'm happy with. And uh, that was quite tricky in itself, actually getting this curve fair in its all of its directions and twists and all the things that are going on whilst being upside down as well. And particularly on this kind of scale, trying to sight down the line of that on the model was a little bit tricky. I would really much rather do this timber with the boat the right way up, but unfortunately, it needs to be done this way because the, the boat isn't structurally sound enough to turn until this is installed. So it's gotta be done this way. So let's take a little look at the shear clamp so far and see where we're up to. So you can see the shear clamp timber there, nice fair curvature to it. And you can see that twist as it comes out back aft into the transom. We've got a really strong timber there now with that four piece lamination that's really tying everything together and working nicely. You can see the sort of flare to that timber as we follow into those forward frames there. We're just slightly proud of the frames on the control side of them, which is good. That's where we want to be. And that's the same right up forward here as we get into the more beveled frames. So we're about where we want to be. This is the cross-sectional makeup of that shear clamp that I've currently got. So we've got two large square section timbers on the inside and then two slightly smaller timbers on the outside. Now that innermost timber uh, really wants to be a square section. I found that to, to get the edge set bend in as that comes up towards the stem and to get the twist and everything else that's going on, that really needed to be a square section timber because the minute you go to a non-square timber, it tries to fight you in, in the various different directions and it doesn't want to bend quite so well. My advice would be for, th for that timber on the right inside to build that one first. Do it in the largest sectional size of timber that you can get away with because the larger that timber is, the fairer the curve is going to be. If you go too small with that timber, it's going to get a little bit wavy and not want to bend into quite such a nice fair curve. So um, I spent quite a lot of time trying to get that initial inside timber nice and fair down all the frames and to the point where I was happy with its position and its twist and everything to get a good fair curve. Once you've got that in place, the other timbers go in very easily because they've got that as a former so that you just kind of mold and laminate those other timbers around the the first one that's in place so it then becomes a lot more easy but um, I spent quite some time getting that first inside timber to a point that I was happy with which was around about where I got to in the last video so I spent most of this week in evenings messing around trying to get that good and fair once it's in things really start to flow now there's still quite a bit of height to get on this shear clamp although it looks correct uh, currently with some of these forward frames by the time you transpose that deck line across, we're still a little bit low on this outer corner. And of course we want to be proud of the deck frames because our frames are floating. They float away from the side of the boat, but they also float above the deck. So we've got that, have that same um, additional height along the shear clamp there. So there's still two more timbers to put on the top of this to, to increase that height and especially back down aft at the transom where we've got that 80 mil height in the, uh, the full size boat sections. So I'll continue building those timbers there, but right now we're gonna take a look at the top side battens and we're gonna start getting those in as well. Now that we've got our shear clamp here, this has tied all of our frames in a good vertical plane and just secured all them together. So we're starting to get some really good rigidity into the boat. So we'll look at top side battens. So these are the timbers that are gonna run down the, the side framing of the boat in between our chine log and our shear clamp. And there's six of these timbers all together. So they're a much smaller section than the shear clamp. They're quite thin actually, and relatively wide. So that means that they're gonna hold a nice fair curve in this plane, which is nice. So we get a good fair line throughout the boat, but they're gonna be thin enough so that they can twist and, uh, and follow the sides and the shape of the boat in this respect. So it means that these won't be quite so difficult to install as a shear clamp because they're just gonna twist and follow what we've got. So there's not gonna be any beveling of these timbers to do. So you can see I've got the, uh, 
the lowest one placed here and the plan is that I think I'm going to put there's six of these all together I'm going to put the the lowest one in first which is going to go up to the chine log and then I'm going to put one up to the shear clamp and then the ones in the middle basically form an equal spacing between those which will swell slightly around the middle of the boat and then get tighter at the transom and at the stem so this one onto the chine is uh, is actually tapered off at the end and it tapers into this chine log from around about frame three here it begins to taper and then it comes down to approximately half of its thickness right up here at the stem and then what i'm basically going to do is just position these on the outside of the frames like this mark their positions for all the all the top side battens and then we'll cut some little notches in set them into place when we're happy so um let's get starting some work on this one
<laughs> that is looking pretty nice, isn't it? It's amazing that with each new step of this build and each new timber that you add into the process, how it massively changes the way that the boat looks. And you really start to see those lines come through. So now you can see the flare in the top sides and you can see that S-shaped curvature that happens right back towards the transom in the aft sections. It looks really nice and you can really get to start to get a feel for how the boat's gonna look. So these top side battens are fitted on top of the frames at the moment. They're gonna need to be notched in and floated at the correct distance to match our chine log on our shear clamp. But laying out the top side battens in this way is gonna make sure that all of my notches are nice and fair. And it's a good little fault finding stage to the build as well. This is why I'm still adamant that the best way to go with these is to cut these notches in manually rather than to do this at the CNC stage because this just allows you to sight down those lines and check if any frames are a little bit out of position or anything's wrong. You'll quite quickly see that if you begin to pull a little kick into one of these top side battens. It's amazing just how accurate you can be when you sight down the corner of a baton like that and check any errors and uh, get things worked out if needs be. So if that was done at the CNC cut stage, then you could actually pull these battens into the wrong place and then you'd end up having to shim things and make adjustments. So uh, this is by far the best way to, uh, to do it. I'm still convinced of that. So I'm gonna get working on that, cut all those notches in. Obviously I've got the other side to do as well. So um, when you're doing the full size boat, you would do the shear clamp on both sides at the same time. And then you do the top side battens on the same, on both sides at the same time. Obviously I'm just trying to move things forward to show you. So I've got a fair bit of work to do to catch up before we can get on to the next video. Get all these set in, get the other side done. And then once that's done, we can start looking at planking the top sides. So we'll do a diagonal layer of planking first on the top sides, and then we'll do a longitudinal layer of planking, which is what will be seen on the finished boat. So um, that will start to look really nice then. I've also got the other layers of the bottom to do, which I've been putting off because it's, um, it's quite a tedious job doing all those planking spiles, but um, we'll get there anyway. I would still really love to be able to get a full-size temptress build underway and uh, we're kind of getting there slowly. We're making steps towards making that happen. There's a couple of ways that you guys can help out with that if you'd like to, um, to push things on and, and see that goal achieved. So uh, we've got the Patreon page, of course, where you can head over there and you can uh, pledge some, a small monthly amount and uh, that helps me to generate more income from these videos and things which allows me to spend more time doing them and the whole system works even better. So we've already got some people on board with that and um, thank you very much for everybody that's already signed up to Patreon. I massively appreciate the support that, um, that you give. So if you want to do that, um, you can do a little bit there or you can buy something like this hoodie which you can find in a spread shop. Uh, shop. And there's t-shirts and stuff in there as well if you'd like to do that. If you don't want to support in a financial way, then just watch the videos and share them and uh, that helps in its own little way. So I really appreciate anything you can do to, uh, to make the boat building continue. And um, I'd like to, to carry on doing as many videos as I can. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers guys.